going to see today are retrofits. Um, so this was originally a traditional roof. Uh, the university wanted to try out green roofs. We wanted to look at a green roof. We got together and we made this one right here. We have a second one on campus as well, but we're not studying that one. Um, so we have our green roof and it's an extensive green roof, typical design, about four inches deep uh, depth of media. Um, you know, kind of that rocky, gravelly media, all sedum plants, basically. That little box over there, that is the weighing lysimeter that I was talking about earlier. We have a complete complement of climatological data. So we have our rain gauge, solar radiation, humidity, we have wind speed over here, um, temperature, all those things. So the ET study, again, that's been using that green roof. And the plants look pretty good right now. We just added a few new ones, um, and we've had plenty of rain over the past month or so. So they're looking pretty good and pretty lush. And you can see the green roof lysimeter, um, you know, it's looking pretty healthy as well. Again, we've been monitoring that for about four years now, so that's going really, really nicely. We have a few other studies going on on this site as well. Uh, we just finally, I think, figured out, we've been trying for years to measure the outflow from the green roof itself. So then we can start connecting how much rain we get, how much outflow we get, um, and then comparing that to our ET data. The reason it took us so long to get the outflow was because of the wide range of flows that we would have leaving the green roof, particularly on the low end. And we have, we have a requirement for um, a pretty precise amount of flow that we want to get. And we were really missing that. We tried an assortment of different flow meters. And we'll see how crowded it is downstairs, but basically what we came up with is we, so the flow drains over this way and then goes down through a downspout and then into the coffee shop actually um, that we have down there. So we found a pretty accurate rain gauge, um, tipping rain gauge, and we've been using that and that really just kind of came online a couple weeks ago. We were also then having some flooding problems and the coffee ladies were very mad because we were flooding up the coffee shop. That was not good. Um, so we figured we fixed that problem. And so we'll be getting the outflow from that as well. And then we often hear um, when we're thinking of water quality from any of our sites, you know, there's always like, how much is being exported in terms of nutrients. And, you know, I think people are always wanting us to compare to zero, which isn't there, it's a natural system. So we're actually starting a study as well. We're collecting um, roof water or just rainwater over there, and then we're also collecting water um, from where we measure the outflow. So we can look at what the nutrients are coming off of this green roof. We're then also taking samples over um, in a forested area and in a grassy area, so we can compare um, how, much how much nutrients are coming off of the green roof versus another natural system that is not a stormwater control measure. Um, we are not taking any samples from like a traditional roof to compare against. So it's a limited study. Um, so that's the basic components. Do you have anything to add on green roof? Uh, no, although it just occurred to me that we have roof data back from the quad study. Oh, we do have roof data back from the quad um, Back in the day, so yeah. we can't compare it to that. Cool. Good does anyone have any questions? It, it, during your talk, you, you said something I'm not sure if I understood. You were talking about the is the lysimeter that the weight thing. Mm -hmm. Did you say there's no drainage in that? There's no under drainage. There's no under drain, so basically it fills up and then overflows. So then, how? I mean, how are you getting good? In, I mean, are you comparing that to what you think is going on on the green roof where you do have drainage? I, um, I'm not sure I follow. We haven't gotten to that point yet because okay. we are just starting to measure what the outflow is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, from our, the way we're moving forward is we know how much rain we get. And once we can measure the outflow from the green roof, then we can get, you know, the difference there and that's the percent storage or okay. the amount storage. Mm -hmm. And then kind of knowing what our evapotranspiration is here and we know how much rain and we know that there's no outflow or we actually have, we figured out a way to account for the outflow out of that. Okay. And so then we can see, would evapotranspiration from the system be the same? 
as the Lysimino system? Would it be less? Would it be more? Um, so that is all still in the making.